In this guide, I'm going to take you through how to generate and display the total number of students in a particular tutor group of a tutor ID. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the Create tab and op uh, open up a new query design. If you uh, import the students table up there, just resize it so it fits fine, and you're going to want to uh, drag down the learner ID and the tutor ID to the bottom. And we don't want to show the tutor ID because we just want uh, the total number of learners or students in the tutor group. Uh, in the tutor ID, you're going to want to click on the criteria and open up the builder. Uh, this is the point where you can indeed, if you use the relate to the text file, the text file, the text field even, in the login form. If you go through the forms, all forms, login, and you'll refer to it there. But as I said in the previous guide, I use the uh, temporary variables, so I will just do that and I've called it username. So either or, as I say, it works perfectly fine. Just click on OK when you've got that linked. And to make sure that we get the total number of students and not just every single student's student ID, uh, click on the totals and then where it says group by under learner ID, just click the drop down and click on count. Now I'm just going to save that as query underscore count tutor students. And then if we uh, if we run that, then as you can see, the total number of students in that tutor is seven. So what we're going to do is close that now. And in the tutor form, we could create another subform, but for one text field, it's not really worth it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to base this actual form off of that query. So to do that, just go into Design View, uh, go into Property Sheet, making sure that you've got Form selected up at the top. And where it says record source under the data tab, just click the drop down and click on the, the name of the query that we just created, which for me is count tutor students. Once you you can close that and click on add existing fields. And as you can see, the only field is the count of learner ID. So if you double click that, then it will add it, most likely probably behind here. So what I'll do is I'll just drag that out from behind there, close that, and all I'll do now is just resize it, move it around a bit and make it look better. Uh, also what you might want to do, instead of having it being called counter to learner ID, what I'm going to do is change the name as well to number of students. All I will do is format and centre it, make it look a bit better. And then you can save that and if you then go into form view, as you can see you've got the tutor details and also the number of students there in that tutor group.